Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, hello, how are you? I'm in 100% uh, panic. Uh, because I didn't know what to do to, today, to finish the coffee table or to begin something new. Uh, of course, I'm going to show you what is the new one I found. Uh, it's also from MDF. Uh, but I have live. Good afternoon, Jim. Hello, everybody. Hello to Poland, to United, to United Kingdom. I hope you can hear me without uh, the the sound that uh, usually goes during the. Hello, Claire. How are you? Uh, anyway, so uh, this is the coffee table we began uh, last month. So we must uh, finish today. And uh, I'm going to show you what is the next uh, uh, project. Uh, I have a live next Sunday, but uh, maybe I'm going to schedule more days uh, because it's uh, also bigger. Uh, the other uh, object I have to to make and uh, need uh, more than one live. So here on the top, uh, just to remember, we use uh, the flakes from Finaber and then we paint uh, with uh, uh, a chalk paint from Pentart uh, the old tree green and. Uh, Inside, uh, we make the sub with the milk paints from uh, Mayer's Memories, uh, the Decomadia, the distributor of uh, Prima Marketing in Greece. So, uh, we must uh, do something in the middle. Ah, uh, around, I add uh, some uh, um, designs from uh, the Prima Mold and clay. I'm going to show you. It's roses and... Uh, uh, one medallion and uh, I paint with the gesso because uh, I want to repaint again so the video I don't know if you can see me because uh, my video frozen and I have to refresh all the time so uh, first the thought was a stencil but I don't have a lot of stencil from Prima then uh, to make uh, a transfer, but all the transfer that I have, it's uh, very big. So, uh, I have some stamps from uh, Redesign, and uh, I think one that it's good, it's this one that say coffee, or this one with a B. So let's check uh, this uh, mold, this uh, stamp. Okay. So I have the coffee. I think it's a little big. I have the B, and I have on this one that it's nice, and I can add on the bottom Paris and on the top the crown. So let's have some uh, uh, mix of all this. Okay, so uh, first I'm gonna use a, a chalk color in uh, black uh, for the stamp. It's also from uh, Pentart brand. So, uh, can you see me and hear me because I have problem with uh, uh, the, the video all, all the time uh, uh, frozen the... and I don't know if you can see me. So, 
That's fake, you saw it. Uh, okay, thank you, Jim. Uh, it just to you, Anna. Hello, Joanna. How are you? Thank you for your help with the video of uh, Jolly. Okay. So, I need the black the color so let's try this one I'm using chalk colors because they are very thick and cover very nicely the stamps and after you can clean of course uh, very easy. Yes, and I, I'm so stressed. You can laugh with me because. I put the color in the opposite side of the stamp and I say why the color doesn't stand. Okay. Now you can understand how much uh, stress I am. So I put the stamp. Let's And down we put Paris and on the top we can add uh, the crown. Not the series in Netflix, the stamp one. So now it will work, I hope. Okay, let's try to put on the table in, in the middle no it's not right this must be going there okay and the crown too So I push from the center and go outside with my fingers, okay. Mm -hmm. 
in. No, it's not good. So let's go to plan B. It's not good. I have already varnished uh, my coffee table, so I can clean without uh, have problem. I add, I think, a lot of uh, a lot of color, or maybe try another one. Let's see my stamps here. This is beautiful. That says a tot de Savel. And uh, so let's do something else. Uh, So let's try this down. <coughs> so first I wanna try this or this. This. Okay, so let's try with Nei Anna Fitz Fragibus is Vrishti Simagia. In his Fragibus is a Pineteria Primo. The Greek lady asked me uh, where they can find uh, this. Uh, this uh, stamps. Okay, so let's try. So I'm gonna add uh, less color. Okay. Okay, so let's try this one. Yes, this is perfect. I love it. 
Look how beautiful it's this one. And I'm going to repeat the same to the other side. Ah, oh, yes, Joanna. They are primary design, yes. This one, I'm going to tell you the name. The name is uh, Chateau de Savenne in French. Okay. Chateau de Savenne. La, la, la. En français. Just a minute to make the stamp. And then I'm going to write in the chat. Okay. So, let's be here. And then I'm gonna use uh, this one, I think. Let's see. No, there is a thinner one. Okay. So I'm going to the other side. This I don't want to be so perfect because it's sub-seek the, the old style. Okay, so I'm gonna add Just a little bit here. Same. Same. And same. Okay. And now, a little here and here. Here. So just to be a connection between. So this is perfect. And now I'm gonna take one more from the same. Sato. Uh, oh, one minute. Uh, I'm gonna write you to the chat. Sato. Sa. Uh,
So I like you in the start of the name and uh, in the middle I'm going to add one more stamp from redesign from the same collection Sarto Savel that I like so much. So let's put it in this way middle okay this one and now I'm gonna dry I'm gonna uh, use uh, a chalk paint again. Uh, the name is Excel. It's a lighter tone of uh, okra because uh, I wanna create something uh, like uh, like a fog. Bonjour, Vicenza. Ça va bien? Je suis en panique quand je ne savais pas quoi faire aujourd'hui de obtenir ça ou pour faire quelque chose d'autre. So, uh, I'm gonna take this color. Just need to show you the color. It's this one. It's a lighter tone of uh, yellow. I'm using a hard brush. Okay, clean the most of the color in my kitchen towel. And now I am just want to create like a fog on the top of my stamps, not everywhere when I want to hide something that it's not so good or uh, uh, to cover a place that uh, doesn't like me a lot it's a nice way and looks also very vintage the project, okay I'm taking just a little color more. Okay. Uh, try to have my brush like this and make uh, movement like a circle. Okay. Fine, dry. Okay, and now I'm gonna add, uh, I'm gonna seal it. Thank you, Jim, with uh, a matte varnish. Okay, a simple 
Matt Varnish, uh, water based. Okay. Okay, finish, dry again. Okay, so last uh, I'm gonna use uh, <coughs> a product uh, to seal, uh, no, not seal, for aging my work. Uh, I can use oil color, I can use uh, maybe burnt sienna from Finabel with water. Uh, I'm gonna use in this one uh, this color lazur. It's a transparent uh, color, water based. Uh, in USA, I think you call um, uh, tin, tin, I think, something like this. Uh, so, so the color is walnut. I pass all my uh, table. Uh, this uh, uh, looks uh, much better if you use uh, uh, milk paint for aging, okay? Of course, you can use also uh, oil color, uh, burnt amber or amber or raw amber, but uh, for milk colors, this uh, lazur uh, color, it's... Uh, better for aging and the walnut it's a very beautiful color so you can use something like this and all the t-shirt okay to remove so you can see how the lazur stay inside the the texture you have made and if you want to clean more you can use also some baby wipe but don't take it all you see the difference it's much better the the fabric no problem. We can clean and repeat. You can put them all around and to the blue. Find the clean. 
area. So if you're going to mall, uh, you can let it uh, dry and uh, repeat uh, one more hand, okay? You can have it uh, lighter uh, in the middle and uh, darker around, okay? So, oh, uh, let's see. So this is in the middle, and now let's go. So, in this side. I add this medallion, okay? So I can, uh, I have already used a thin uh, uh, white gesso on the clay uh, to be sure that all the color works perfectly. And now, I'm gonna add some acrylic metallic color. That is uh, similar to to the color that is all around my. So I need a small brush oh. I'm gonna add this beautiful color that the name is I'm gonna tell you I think it's uh, Explain the name of uh, the acrylic metallic color by Finabel. I love this color. This is a very soft clay and uh, I used the this mold that, that called Thornton Medallion, okay? It's uh, this mold from Red Design, show you there, okay? And the roses that I made in the other side, for those that you didn't see the, the other two lives, it's called Fragrant, uh, Fragrant Rose, okay? It's the mold that you make uh, the roses and uh, I'm gonna paint with this color my mold. And uh, in the middle, I'm gonna use the blue used for the rest. Let me find it. Uh, No, it's the 
this one. Just a little. Okay. So I'm using these two colors, and now I let it uh, dry. And I'm gonna use. Uh, some oil color because here I want to be stronger my aging. So I need my brushes. So I have already varnished the rest of my table, so I'm going to varnish also uh, my embellishment. Okay. Okay. Dry again. use an oil color from the brand Renaissance. Uh, called the sepia. So let's add here a little. I don't need a lot. I have my brushes inside the turpentine always not inside the water it's very important and now I'm going to add the oil color everywhere especially around my embellishment and my medallion how I don't know how to say don't laugh if I make mistakes I'm very stressed sorry I'm using this oil color called the Renaissance uh, Sepia. It's uh, a brown color, uh, not uh, around. Uh, it's like oily brown, and the legs also. And just to add a little more. So I think it's okay about time. Uh, I can see your uh, 
your your chat or your uh, I don't know what happened. Anyway, and to the other side, and the gold flakes looks more old now that we ate in this way the legs. If you remember, we had some uh, gold flakes from the new Finaber releases. Uh, and the gold is uh, inside this blue uh, super color. Uh, very old and very friend, I can say. So let's see what happened. So I'm gonna take baby white. I hope you can see me. I don't know what happened. Uh, Facebook doesn't work. Okay. Okay, so I can have image again. Thank you, Claire. Try not to stress, say Claire. I know. So now I remove softly my oil color from my embellishment and around my embellishment. Okay. Softly, softly, and less. More close. Okay. And the legs. And to the end, I can use uh, a gold patina. With a hard brush. To give light uh, in my project. Okay. So I take a hard brush. Uh, gold patina and I'm going first to my embellishment and then on my table okay and to my legs and I put okay so this is it how I'm gonna finish around the same I'm gonna do uh, from this side that I have the roses okay so this was on the top uh, that I, I wanted to show you and now I want to show you what I had on my mind to start This one, so this is next Sunday, okay? And uh, you add uh, this and this. This is the door. It's for candle. And on the top, it's this one. Uh, this is MDF. So I must glue it 
first or I think it's better work uh, every part and then we glue it. Okay, this is going up here. And this is going all around. How tall this in English? Latter. 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 Okay. So this is we are going to do next Sunday. Uh, and maybe I'm going to add one more day for live. Okay. And a fanari. A lot of this. Katerina. So thank you for watching. I hope you like it. Uh, we work with stamps today from Prima. Uh, next time uh, maybe I'm gonna use also the the transfer. So this is the stamp Chateau de Sabren. I hope you can see it. Uh, so Next live in redesign with Prima. Hello from Denmark. Hello Pia. Uh, my next live is uh, next Sunday at the 25. So my personal workshop that was next Sunday will be on Monday. Uh, uh, for the Greek, uh, let me explain quickly. Uh, uh, λοιπόν, uh, κάνω το φανάρι την Κυριακή, το Σάββατο έχει η Φίνα Μπερλάι για αυτό το, το προσωπικό μου σεμινάριο θα πάει τη Δευτέρα. So my personal uh, workshop with a good effect and how to uh, stamp on uh, Eva paper uh, will be on uh, Monday. Uh, I can show you a little, okay, the project, the embossing uh, with stamps on Eva paper, okay, so, thank you for watching, sorry that I was stressed tonight, I didn't know what to do, to be, to start the lantern or to finish the coffee table, so I finished the coffee table, uh, so when I finish all, I make photos, Thank you, Prima. Thank you, Redesign. Thank you, Finabel. Thank you, all of you that uh, you're watching. Uh, have a nice evening and have uh, a beautiful week. Stay safe. This is uh, the most important. And uh, everything you wish happen on you. What else can I say? Good night, bye bye.